Keep it all in. I just wanted to say, Oddie couldn't make it today. We've got his twin here, who actually has different colour hair than him. Oh, yeah. Let everyone know your name. He's dedicated to getting the festive season for like, it's almost like 20, 22, 23. He struggles to get in there now. And just to kick things off, I'm just going to start us off with a bit of... So I lost all my money. So this, this, <laughs> I think this like confirms the fact that we shouldn't bet. They got pay wave donations now. What? Like, so you have... Oh, either, yeah, yeah. They said either, that. Either the little Apple thing or That's like right. or a full ATM machine. Tell you what would have been a better allocation of money. Instead of spending a couple hundred bucks on this ATM machine... Donate that yourself. Donate that <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Look back on my life and think, I didn't do that. Minuscule thing like dyeing your hair, but otherwise, go talk to that girl. Go tell her you like her. Go ask her on a date. Or even go, don't do little things like hang out with your parents on Christmas and make the most of the thing, the people you like, you love. Yo, 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 welcome back, Relatables episode 252. It's your host here, or one of your hosts, Jake. <laughs> And I just wanted to introduce, wait, I got, Oddie couldn't make it. We've got, wait, 252, episode 52. Yeah, I'm just going to pull you up on that. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> episode 52. Keep all that in. Don't worry about Spit it. it out. Keep it all in. I just wanted to say, Oddie couldn't make it today. We've got his twin here, who actually has a different color hair than him. Oh, yes. Let everyone know your name. Um, my name is Ottawa Charter. Ottawa Charter. <laughs> um, right. Yes, yes. I thought I'm we surprised should... you didn't go with Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam Smith is my usual go-to. <laughs> but um, yeah, we should probably address that from the start. I have different hair. It's not actually Otto Machado. It's um, still Oddie here. Still Oddie. And I've just um, bleached my hair blonde. And um, I don't know if it looks... Why'd you do it? I don't know if it looks good. I'm I like not... it. You I agree? really like it. It's um, something different. But like, life's too short to not try things. I had a little feeling in my heart that I wanted to do it and I didn't want to leave it wondering. Oh, fuck yeah, I love that. Uh, it's not the final product, so if you think it looks like shit, wait till Saturday and then give me your proper opinion. Nah, dude, I liked it when it was before because you bleached it and it was like bleached, bleached. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you put this product in it to make it like silver. Yeah, so it's like But silver. I liked it before as well. I think mm. it looks better now, but I even liked it before. It's, a bit, it's hard to get the colors. Mate, I'll tell you what, there's some science going on with hair. Any chick that like Boy. does hairdressing and is listening. Dude. Um, props because of me learning about that I've been on YouTube but like, learning all the ratios and that and all the scientific like yeah. colorations of your hair and how to make it work it's quite hard because mine's kind of off at the moment as well it's like a bit like grayer and like silver it's a bit oh, yeah. but like I don't really care no but um no, nah, I just wanted to try something new, spice up, and in the end, it's only hair and it'll grow back if I want to Mate, shave it. The fucking process you went through, I was here the day you oh, were doing it. Effort. Man. I, I didn't realize how much of an effort it was going to be. Hey. It took ages, and you had to have like 10 showers. Oh, bro. Well, you and could... you usually like showering, <laughs> but that's a lot. Even I toned it yesterday. I'm going full out if any girls are listening. I'm using toner and that. <laughs> they, they, they know what you're talking about. Yeah, learning all that. But yesterday, I, I, to get the purple, it stained my hair because it went purple. Yeah. Because I might have left it in a slightly little bit long. So, oh, I had to okay. like, I washed it with the purple shampoo after and it went purple. So, I had to wash it with soap after, then do sh normal shampoo. So, I was in there for like fucking 15 minutes trying to wash my hair. <laughs> Hell, bro. But, um. It sounds like such a, it looks good, but yeah, it'll, it'll man. pay off, it'll pay off. Does it go with all your outfits that you've, uh, that you've got? Oh, oh, I think so. I think so. I think it only, it does bring out my blue eyes a bit more. Someone yeah. said the other day at work. Fuck yeah. So, um, because it's like blondie gray. But yeah, fair enough. No, nah, man, just rocking something different. We want to spice it up. Well, it's just been boring lately with my normal hair. Hey, the people have spoken. Yeah, why not? You know, um, well, you've done it before. Mm, yeah, a couple of years How ago. How long ago was that? Like, was that during COVID? I think it was like, yeah, it was during COVID, two years ago with Finn. Yeah, and I thought was... you and Finn actually suited it as well. Finn looked good. Mm. One of our mates looked really good. I think he should do it again. He has to go buzz cut to do it, but his hair now couldn't. Looks like a tennis ball, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But um, no, I'm getting a trim on Saturday. Hope it yeah. works out. Oh yeah, you got the idea to get like normal hair color up in skin fade. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's gonna look right, good. But right. that's me address, Jack. That's your address. You sound like shit. Yes, I <laughs> am sick. Unfortunately, Duh. I uh, just if anyone has noticed my voice being off, this is the best I can do. Okay, we, we have a theory. Oh yeah, we have a theory. Okay, well here's what happened. Act firstly, I worked Tuesday night. That night, I just had the worst sleep. Don't know why. I woke up in the middle of the night, couldn't get warm. I was freezing cold, tossing and turning. Finally worked up the coach to put a jumper on. 
went back into bed. Still couldn't get warm. I was fucking <laughs> shivering, bro. It was weird. Wait, build up the courage to get a jump. Were you scared of your closet or something? No, I was scared <laughs> to get out of bed because I was already freezing. Oh, right. And I was like, I don't want to take the blanket off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, eventually fell back asleep. And then I was like, it's like I was in and out of sleep like 20 minutes at a time. That's shit. shit. And it was the worst. And then I finally, I don't know, I must have fallen back asleep for like three hours because I woke up at like 10 to 9. And then I just was like, it felt like I've been hit by a bus. Mm. And then I can't, I think you might have just been leaving. And then, I, and then I like finally got out of bed, had a shower, had Sunday to eat. And I was like, fuck, what do I do? And just went back into bed and didn't and fell asleep until 1 p.m. That's pretty really mad, eh? And, I, and then I ordered, I couldn't, I just didn't want to eat. I didn't feel like eating, but I was craving an apple. And a packet of lollies. Yeah. So I ordered door. I door dashed them. <laughs> How much was that? It was like, I think it was like twenty six dollars. <laughs> that is such a like the person looking at that would be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. I, I door dashed it, and and I knew it's hard to find our house too. Yeah. Our house is so hard to find. So I had to write in the instructions. I did not want to go down and meet him because walking down that hill and back up, like my head was throbbing. <laughs> And my so they came I, to the front door. So they literally, I really good instructions, and I asked them to leave it right outside that door, and they did, and they took a photo of where it was for me, and then I was like, <laughs> "Fuck yes!" <laughs> and then went back in, went and got that, and came back into bed and fell asleep until like five. Yeah, slept all fucking day. It was so fun. weird. And then, but today I feel better. Yeah, well, that's good. But so that's why I sound like shit. But my theory is: is every sick, or he's got a classic case of. What um the boys would say, bitchititis from the weekend. Bitchititis, yeah. First time he's gone out, his body doesn't know what's going on. Everyone else is um used to it. Yeah, some would you, say. you guys are all uh, seasoned. <laughs> yeah, 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 professionals. And you just got a um delayed offset of um the effects of alcohol and drinking and yeah. partying and staying out late. The effects of all sorts of shit. Yeah, exactly. So um you know it could be either or. I'm hoping it's the latter. So well, yeah, I did a COVID test and it's not COVID. That's good. But so, you, it's weird that you sound weird though. Yeah, see, I sound weird. I don't, but maybe I just, because my body was up. so run down mm. from being, like, going out and yeah. then, like, eating that like, shit the next day or whatever. I just, maybe I did catch something. Maybe it was those donuts you got. I was at a low point. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they were good, though. Yeah. No regrets there. They fucking, they were tasty. But, um, yeah, that's but, why I sound like shit. Yeah, okay. But today's episode, Jack, it's a good one. We're going into... Oh, yeah, it's not 252, by the way. I don't know it's why you two, said that. It's 52. You know, it's because I was listening to Shits and Gigs. Oh. And they started theirs off with 252. And when, literally, as I was like saying this in my head, I was saying the intro in my head, and I was like, welcome back, guys, episode 252. And I was like, oh, wait, no, it's 52. Don't say 252. And then I said 252. Yeah, and I was going to stop you, but you're, you're in the zone, man. I didn't want to mess you up. <laughs> oh, well. But today's me. a good episode, Jake. Yes. Let's jump into it, eh? All right, Jake, it is the season to be jolly. Yes. The shops are packed and um, it's, I don't want to go up there no, buying, people, so bad. buying people presents, but I often struggle to like, I want to say like, get in the festive season. Yeah, so this segment grab, is dedicated to getting the festive season for like someone who's like 20, 22, 23, struggles to get in there now. And just to kick things off, I'm just going to start us off with a bit of... Jingle bells, jingle bells. Remix. Ooh. We're young men. We don't want that original shit. Open sleigh. That's all you get. That's all you get. Oh, I was getting in the mood then. I figured out. I think we're allowed to play SoundCloud from seeing other videos. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I want to abuse it. Use and abuse it. Use and abuse. Why not? Why not? But um, like I said, we struggle to get in the like festive season and like make Christmas special. But a time that was special for us is when we were all kids having oh, Christmas. Yeah. Remember how good it was? It was so fucking good. Oh, I miss I'm, it. I it took me a little while to realize, but I reckon I would by the time I was eighteen, I'd already had a fair like at least five years where I just wasn't excited for it anymore. And then I realized I was like, well, I haven't been excited for Christmas yeah. for five years. Why do we have to grow the fuck up? So I reckon, yeah, I reckon the last time I was proper excited, I was like either 14, 15, mm. maybe. That's just the good thing because I had an older brother. So yeah. like I sort of grew out of it relatively early as well. Yeah. Whereas if you have younger siblings, uh, yeah. the spark's still there. See I had younger siblings and they still 
Yeah. yeah ooh, you got to like act, like act up and like act it's like, oh, so... Santa's so cool. <laughs> 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 and blah, blah, blah. But that's also like, um, chicks seem to get into it a lot more. It's a good thing about having like a girlfriend or someone yeah, like that. Yeah, true. They really get in the festive like spirit. They like to like, decorate and stuff. Yeah. Like we got a tree... <laughs> What was it like three days ago? Yeah. And it's like 20. It's what is the date? It's the 22nd. We yeah. got a tree on like the 19th. <laughs> we got in the festive season date. Oi, it's hard to find a tree this late. Really? How weird is that? You'd think they'd have heaps of trees up yeah. until like January because they just get too many. So you, we got the reject shop one. Eh? We got and we went to the reject shop, the dollar store, and we got a tree and it's not very. <laughs> <laughs> Does the job. It looks like shit. Does the job. But I love it. But. These are the best things um, from my childhood that made Christmas special. Yes. And um, kick things off, what me and my brother did was trying to sleep under the tree to catch Santa out. I, wait, you actually did that? I did that like once or twice, two years. It was in before our house was renovated, so our house was real small. And, uh, yeah. you know, like we've got the sleeping bags out, the rollout um, mattresses. And we both slept right on the tree. Like, we're going we're gonna to stay up all night, catch this motherfucker. Let's go. Catch Santa in the act. Like, there's no <laughs> way There's no way he's going to get a present without seeing him. It's like, wait, I'm sleeping. Yeah, it's like, I'm sleeping one eye open. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Santa, what's he going to do? Drop the presents on me? Like, he's going to wake oh, me up. Yeah. And like, like, I always just, used to remember trying to see him yeah. on, on roofs. Yeah. I used to be, and my grandparents on time got me real good. They were like, oh my God, he's on that roof over there. I'm like, shit, oh my God. One thing I could never get my head around as a kid, like, apparently he's meant to come through the chimney or whatever. Yeah. What happens if you don't have a chimney? Like, how does he get in your house? Is yeah, he, I don't know. Yeah, like he's just like, got magical powers. But he does. Yeah, he's magic, man. That's that why was, he fits through the little ones. I remember how. Yeah, yeah. I remember how excited I was as a kid, just like me and my brother, like setting that shit up and then getting ready. And then obviously, because you're like ten, you fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're in the act, and your parents, I props to them. How do they not wake you up and stuff and oh. all the funny business? Get the um stocking out and fill your stocking up with all the like little presents that like are cool and funky and you're like oh i didn't know this thing existed and i can't believe they made their jobs harder by letting you sleep under the tree yeah well we were probably like yeah i don't even know but they're probably like they don't know they knew we were going to fall asleep yeah true, true. So that was they, my probably, they probably put like sleeping pills in your food or yeah, some yeah, shit. yeah but um that, that was a little special one in my childhood that made christmas special all right i've got one i always used to when i was a kid um my parents would always let us open one present on Christmas Eve. Oh, I've heard of people do that, eh? And then, you know, and then the rest of them on Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah, was just yeah. the best thing ever. But it was always a present from like one of your distant relatives or something. And it was always like pajamas or something. Oh. And I was just like, what the fuck, bro? That's just this a is teaser. bullshit. That's just a teaser. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're not giving you that doing. good stuff until tomorrow. Oh, God. No one wants to have pajamas. It was fucking bullshit. But it was still good. It was exciting. You what, have to open a present. What about the pajamas trying to remind me? Now that we've moved out, I'll tell you what I'd actually really look forward to. What? And if I was still at home, I'd hate like undies, socks, like a pair of sheets or like a nice pan. But if we moved out, oh, now that we're moved out, sorry, pair of socks, undies are fucking expensive. That's what I've asked for. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to buy all this boring stuff for myself. I want to buy the like, exciting stuff for myself. Yeah. Like shoes, that's where my money's going. Yeah. Like anything cool, like anything yeah, new technology. It's so hard to spend money on socks and undies because you want to buy quality ones. Yeah. You don't want to buy shitty ones. And then you just like, for some reason, it's so much harder to spend a hundred bucks in underwear than it is a hundred bucks in a pair of shoes. Yeah, it's retarded. And like, there's no enjoyment out of this undies really no. but shoes you're like oh yeah 100 bucks 200 bucks yeah i'll do that but <laughs> see even... i'll get a nice pair of pajamas now but oh yeah because yeah. i don't want to buy myself pajamas yeah exactly okay my second one that made christmas special was oh um i should probably give a give a um what's the thing i'm gonna a premise yeah preface. Mate, a preface maybe yeah um, this is about santa oh it's about santa if you um, oh, oh yours about santa oh no no, no, no this like, one in particular do you reckon anyone who's um Listen to us really think Santa's cool. It's still real. <laughs> I fucking hope not. I think we gave it away earlier. <laughs> um, anyway, so Santa's not real at this point, but we're still in the festive season. I think I'm like maybe 14, 15. Yeah. Um, you're trying to find Santa's presents before um, they're put under the tree on Christmas Day. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've got a sibling, like you're searching the house. Fuck yeah. Under mum and dad's bed. Like, <laughs> looking at all the drawers, the kitchen. Where are they where hiding? Where are they hiding these They've shit? got to be up tall where I can't reach. <laughs> Like, where are these things? You just go on a wild goose chase and you might find something. Like, and you, then you find like your dad's presents. And and you're your like, parents this. get crafty. Yeah, too. yeah. They start hiding. Like you'll good. find like your dad's socks that are like size 15. So you're just like, <laughs> you're like, these aren't for me. Damn it. Like, I've almost, I was so close. 
<laughs> but I remember that was pretty good. Just trying to do the go on a wild goose chase. I always used to like, um, and one of mine is when I'd wake up just stupid early out of excitement. Mm. So I'd wake up and then I'd be awake. It'd be like 5 a.m. Yeah. And because your parents are up late the night before, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, they're not awake yet. And so I'd go up and or, or I'd like go around to the tree and I'd look at all the presents, see which ones are mine. I did that too. I did that and, I'd like, and I'd like examine them. <laughs> I'd be like, I wonder what this is. Yeah. Like, if it's like a box or if like, and then some of them, you just, by the shape of it, you know what it is, like yeah. a tennis racket or some shit. It's the best thing ever. I and then sometimes you shake if, you, it and if you have a box, that's like perfect shape for like a Wii or like a PlayStation or like an iPad or something. You're like, should I get it? Did I get it? And yeah. then you have to wait though. Cause you get in so much trouble if you just open it. Did your parents ever like, um, if you had something like big or like, yeah, relatively big or heavy, I just put, they put it in a pillowcase for me cause they couldn't be fucked to wrap it. Really? No, <laughs> yeah. my parents always wrapped it. <laughs> put it in a pillowcase and just put a ribbon around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. My parents still, none of us believe in Santa anymore, but my parents still, will give us all uh, we all get a gift uh, from santa still <laughs> they still write from santa on it I'm i saw like, okay. i saw something that was um little sharp left turn kind of relevant in these days um as a parent people were saying stop giving letting santa give their kids like ipads and iphones and like Wii's and xboxes because all these kids are coming to school and saying like was santa not is santa, am i on santa's naughty list i got socks i got undies i got a secondhand jacket oh. and stuff like this because some parents can't afford yeah the newest of course, iPhone yeah. expert and they're like if, if you're giving them something really good give them say it's from you like from mum and dad not True. santa because all these kids are coming to school thinking but oh, do you think list. a poor person made this up what oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, like good. That doesn't sound like our problem yeah. if we're rich and you're not, you know? <laughs> like, let us live. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. But the bigger picture, the bigger picture is something to consider. I was like, yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah, fair enough. Which fair is, enough. obviously I haven't because I don't have kids and I don't particularly care too much. But I've, I saw a feed and I was like, that's kind of interesting. It, look, I, I, I do like, because it's got kids involved, yeah. I think just because for the kids' feelings, yes. Yeah. But I saw something really funny um, on this podcast, Two Bears, One Cave with two comedians. And they talk, they they are very wealthy now. I mm. think they started off very poor, obviously. They're both very famous. And I think some guy got a comment. He said every time they talk about something like a, a watch they buy or a car they buy because it's very expensive, they he, he said he gets a flooded with messages on Instagram about someone to be like, oh, that makes me feel like shit because I can't afford that. Mm. And then he just goes... Listen up, you fucking loser. It's so <laughs> funny. He's like, listen up, losers. That's not our problem. Me saying something shouldn't affect how you feel. Only you can control how you feel. It was so funny how he goes on about it. Yeah. And he starts going on about how it's like, just because I decided to do something that made me rich. It's so <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> uh, I'm with you on like, if it's an adult, but just because the kids. I think really kids do. involved. Yeah. I, I, I reckon it's a good idea. It's, a, it's weird eh? because kids also would just like rub it in. Yeah, like they like, I've got the new Xbox One, and the, kids, the other kids like, I got a box of chocolate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, man, I got this baseball cap. Like, yeah. Like. Uh, who's next? No, uh, you. Okay. Um. <laughs> all right. I um. Did you ever get? A, uh, right here. Let me. I'll just fuck. I'm gonna spit this one out. I always used to get from um relatives that were overseas or far away. I would get an envelope and it would just be a card with money in it. Mm. So one of the best things about that was I always used to just open up that envelope from a grandparent, look at it for five <laughs> seconds, pretend I gave a shit about what I was reading and then I just put that money in my pocket and fuck the card <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, and I still do it. <laughs> you're pretty, if they're looking, you're like, oh. Have you seen like like $100 falls out and you just don't even like comprehend it? You're like, oh, this is so, oh $100. It's like, oh, I really care about this card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I, remember, I need a message actually a couple grandparents actually <laughs> to I, say thanks. I remember my grandma, like when it was the whole time, like ever, ever since I was like, I want to say like five up until like 18. Mm. She, on Christmas or my birthday, she'd send a card and give me $5. Legend. <laughs> and I was like, when you're like ten or whatever, that's good. That's that's real good. That's like three packs. That's five packs of one dollar. Yeah, one dollar packs you're of like Five dollars, and then you're like eighteen. Mm. <laughs> you're like five like, That's not even a beer. Yeah. 
because she stayed true to herself. Hey, at least she's read, consistent. I rated it, and but I was the same. Like you get the nice card in the handwriting that you can't read. No, nah. <laughs> you're just like yeah, but no, nah, that's that one's relatable. That oh, one's relatable. That is relatable. Okay, <laughs> this is my last one. Um, I don't, did you? I think you would have done this. It's the classic thing to do when you're young. You would leave the cookies, a little bit of milk, and carrots out for the reindeers. Oh yeah. And then you'd wake up in the morning, this cookie, half the cookies are eaten, like dad dad in the middle of the night's gone ham. <laughs> he's gone, he's gonna be peckish. <laughs> Mum's had a carrot. <laughs> the milk's like dripped around there. You're like, yeah. Santa's been here. Santa's what the hell? I tr- this oh, is you, proof. This is this proof. is proof. <laughs> Where are my presents? <laughs> Where are my presents? <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like the amount of effort like you, gotta, you ever leave a note to Santa as well I think I, I did yeah yeah, yeah 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 did you ever oh did you ever send like a um thing oh, in the letter yeah in your, the, your list of what you wanted yeah in um to the, the North Pole fuck yeah I used to put just absurd shit on there I wonder like, how many like, like um things the like the post office just gets put straight in the bin oh yeah <laughs> oh yes <laughs> all these kids oh, dreams bin 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 true I didn't think of that. They yeah. cop it. It just goes straight in the bin. Yeah. Wow. That's hilarious. But um, yeah, that one just set the mood. for Santa's ready for my me. One year, my dad must have been in a bit of a mood or in a drinking mood because he was like, let's put a beer out for Santa. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> beer? He's, got a, he's like, yeah, let's just put a beer out for Santa. <laughs> dad, your dad's probably like, I'm going to stay up to like 11, have a beer. <laughs> he obviously was like drinking with my mom or like while they were wrapping presents and then just had a beer as well. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't clock on. No, nah, exactly. The amount of effort your parents go on, props though. I can, yeah. Do you reckon the spark, you know how we're missing the spark at the moment? Comes back. Do you reckon when we have kids, it comes back? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I reckon it will too. Like, it was, Surely. Yeah. You'd think so. And I've always, and I've and when I got older, I realized the reason your parents stay up, sorry, don't stay um, don't wake up early. Well, obviously, it's because they're not as excited as you, but it's because they've stayed up late. Yeah. And yeah. you haven't because you've gone to bed as early as possible. You want to get to sleep. So it's like quicker to open presents and and then poor parents get woken up. I, like if I wake up at five, by six o'clock, 100% I'm on that bed. Like yeah. get up. Yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> well, I tell you one thing that I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to do when I have kids. What? Whoever breaks my little kid's heart and tells, tells them that Santa isn't real because someone messed up their childhood <laughs> is getting it. Straight to the face. I'm gonna I like, remember. I'm going to get bashed. How old were you when you got told the first time by I someone remember, your age? I still remember. By someone your age. And um, you didn't believe him because you're like, no, nah, I don't believe you. I was at tennis camp. Oh, And I was like 14, tennis I think. Camp. Yeah, fucking loser. Who the fuck goes... That? Wait, how old? 14? I think, yeah, I was old, man. Oh, shit, yeah. I and, wish I believed until... Yeah, I was, I was like 14, maybe 13. Yeah. But something around there. And I was at tennis camp. And I think we had a tournament or something. And Sienna came after to hand everyone lollies. Fuck yeah. And then some guy was shit at tennis. Um, I think, <laughs> this guy was shit at tennis too. Yeah, How I, think, I think I flogged him. That's why he told me. I think I flogged him in the tournament. It's such a good fucking insult as well if you're having a fight with the kid and you're young. Oh yeah, well Santa's not... <laughs> yeah, I think I beat him in the tournament because it was doubles and me and my guy came like first or second. Mm. And I'm there just waiting to get my lollies off Santa. And he's just sitting there ready to get a photo on his lap and shit. He's good, good dress up. Yeah. And then and he goes, you know Santa's not real. Because I was all excited. And I was like, no. <laughs> he's, and he tell, he told me some story about it. He's like, caught his parents. Like, yeah, I caught my mum and dad giving the pre- um, presents one year. And I was like, are you fucking serious, fucking mate? Fucking hell. And then it was never the same ever since. Nah. And I went home and talked to mum and dad. And I was like, yeah, it's about time you knew. Sat about me down. <laughs> Devo. It's fucking heartbreak. But whoever does that to my kid is yeah. getting, getting it. Fucking They're right. going to get I it. I agree. I never got... My parents never told me. But I... I remember I was one kid telling me my age going, he was like telling me Santa's not real, Santa's not real. He's like, my mum told me, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, I don't believe you. I fully didn't believe him. And then I was like, you're getting coal in your stocking. <laughs> <laughs> but then one year, my mum misspelt Santa oh. on one of my presents. And I looked at it and I was like, this bitch. How the fuck? And they're like, my family's laughing. Like, oh, Santa's spelled his name wrong. I was like, nah, Santa wouldn't do that. He spells his name isn't, way too many times. Yeah, hey. Oh, isn't your middle name spelled wrong? That's why it's... And yeah, my middle name is Mitchell, but it's spelled M-I-T-C-H-A-L, which is just a not how to spell Mitchell. Mitchell. It's, it's Mitchell. And that's like, I'm a burst of and everything. Is that Real because weird. she spelled it wrong? Or I think is she, she trying to be like, know, I think she didn't, No, I think she didn't know how to spell Mitchell. And uh, her name is Michelle. Yeah. Which is so close to Mitchell. All you have to do is add a T and take Maybe away an E. Maybe she got confused with Mich- like Michelle and Mitchell. 
I don't know because Mitchell is M I T C H E L. You think the person would have said like Mitchell? It's like are you are you going for Mitchell or Mitchell? So she's fucked up your birth certificate and Santa. Yeah, she said she's double whammy. She's on Santa's naughty list. I think I was like eleven, maybe ten. Yeah, but um, I think I got one more. I got one more. Yeah, sweet. Give it to us. All right. Oh, I used to love. I don't know if you did this. My mum's heaps good at baking. Mm. I used to love. So we'd like make gingerbread houses. We'd have like a, it's like a massive thing in Canada. Like you have a day making gingerbread houses and like baking everything for the big like Christmas lunch you have. And it was just like a, the best memory ever because as a kid, all you like doing is just eating all the shit, eating all the lollies and like making gingerbread house and like your mum's like all stressed making all this stuff and and oh, we also always had like a massive family lunch. Um, and it's like a big turkey di- like lunch mm. and it's like it's like i swear it's like in the movies like america doesn't like that lie big. it's like big turkey you have like big potato bake just big bowl of like mashed potatoes like all the stuff like gravies yeah, and everything because nah, that- it's like really cold over there in canada it's you want this massive warm meal and you just eat heaps and everyone's like so you open your presents everyone comes over you have like nice brekkie Big lunch. It's just, it was so good. No, so yeah, that, I really I would love a snowy Christmas. Like a, a white cold. Christmas is so so. It just feels so festive as well. Yeah. And over here we do a lot more seafood. Yeah. A lot more fresh because it's hot. Yeah. It's always so warm. So whenever I moved, so when I moved here when I was like eleven, it just has never felt the same since then. Really. Yeah. That equivalent that does remind me. Um, like my dad fresh prawns yeah that's what like him and his, you his don't even mom. like seafood but the smell of it yeah. i hate seafood food but like, the smell of it like they go get the um order in like a month before because it's all booked out yeah actually seafood, that's, yeah and they go do that and they eat all the prawns I'm like that's disgusting but the smell you're like it's christmas it's, time it's, you wake up it's like oh this is christmas yeah this is christmas <laughs> but um I'll tell you what now jake i am keen for christmas i am keen as well actually Look, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Excited. I hope everyone's keen now but um we're gonna wish you a merry christmas because it's coming out on friday Yep. Everyone listening. And um, yeah, we hope you have a good Chrissy, guys. Hope we've hopped you up a little bit. And um, Santa, hopefully, Santa's good to you guys. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, he brings you everything you wanted on your list. Ole, 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 ole. Messi has done it. He is officially the GOAT. I can't believe it. So he's now undeniably the GOAT, yes? Yes, yes. I, everyone's just complete shift. There's no doubt about it. Messi is the best, if not ever, but way better than Ronaldo. If if he's had, it's like his year compared to Ronaldo's year and now him winning the World Cup. He's done it all. Ballon d'Or, Champions League, um, oh, La Liga. Oh, everything. Golden Boot. What, yeah. What did he get? Did he also get something as well? I actually didn't know if it was him or Mbappé who got golden boot, but it was one or the other. One yeah. was one off. But um, if you don't know what we're talking about, World Cup, we're a little bit late. Finished last Monday. Mm. Um, and Argentina won in penalty shootouts to, to France. And um, man, it was a game. Man. Oh, bro. It was good. And um, fuck, it was... 2-0 two, two at half, half time, 2 Argentina. France brought it back to 2 all. Then an extra 1 all and extra time. And penalty shoot. I'm like, France have fucking got the penalty shoot out. Like, they could be good here. And then Argentina, man, they just... It was written in the stars for Messi, I think. I'm, I'm very, very happy that he won. I Why think... I, the, we'll get to it. The only reason I didn't want him to win was because we had to bet on France. Yeah. And I was going to win some money. Yeah. But realistically... Even though I lost the money, I'm like, fuck hell, this is this is like this is a moment. One of the best World Cups ever and like one of the best games, World Cup finals ever. It was very exciting. I think Brazil getting knocked out was so gnarly. Mm, I yeah. just was like, fuck, they just have been dominating every game. But did they get an easy pool? Oh, not really. Semi, but they kind of they choked because I don't know. I wonder why they choked. Because sometimes Cause perform well under like Croatia always I've seen that I saw their stats from like, the past like four or five World Cups. Oh, They're okay. always second, third, really? fourth, second, third, fourth. Oh really? One time they got knocked out in the group stage, but otherwise they just perform under pressure, right? They're just yeah. a good solid and team. So they're not even like are they well known as a really good team because they've got heaps of good players? Oh no, they do have good players. Like yeah. they're just um not like Brazil ha- are like 11 separate players whereas Croatia are one team oh, okay. that's kind of what Argentina win as well as France like France has really good players mm. not as well this year they did well for the team they had yeah, right. still a good team but um, Argentina are a team I was saw um, Messi's um, half time no before the game speech to his players got goosebumps man 
It was in um. It was in Argentina. What did they speak? They? Argent? Is that a language? Oh shit! Oh shit! What do they speak Argentinian? in Argentina? Nah, no, they don't speak. It's not Argentinian. Argentinian. There's no way is that's this, a language. Is it Spanish? Oh, I got no idea. I'm gonna say. I Argentina think, is it, it, Spanish. Yeah, I was gonna say Spanish, Spanish, but we could be completely wrong and look like. Well, what idiots. do they speak in Brazil? Um, Portuguese. Okay, I reckon it's Portuguese. Yeah, I can. I hope they're, both, I hope they're both South America. I hope I'm right with that one. <laughs> I think so. Is Brazilian a language? No, no. Nah. I think there's Brazilian slang, but there's not Brazilian. But also Spain, like Mexican is Spanish, right? That's what I was thinking, Argentinian because, Spanish. Okay, yeah, let's go Spanish. I think Spanish. Oh, oh. God. It's probably people yelling at us in the phones yeah. right now. You idiots. Um, but, well, but it was in Spanish. It was in Spanish, dubbed with subtitles. So I think it was a little bit off. But he's like talking about their families, 45 days. This is one of the best tournaments. I love all of you. We've got one game left, one step left, and we do this for our family. Um, someone's like had a kid and shit, and he's like, do this for your boy, do this for your wife, do this for your mum, do, right do this for your dad. He's like, do this for your country and we'll bring it home. And then I was just like, full got goosebumps. What if you actually want to go watch it? And I was just like, man, I would have won the World Cup too. <laughs> 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 and Messi's renowned for like, not talking a lot. Oh, really? He's, I think he's a relatively quiet guy where it's like Ronaldo's like, you play for me. Like, this yeah. is it. And remember, like, when Messi talks, the whole team listens. Yeah, right. And I was just like, damn. See, you got to love him. I just, I have, for some reason, I just love Messi because you know how I, he, he, I don't even know him personally, obviously, but I know he's humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know he's humble. He's such just, yeah, he just looks like a... You know good, it. Yeah, he just looks looks like a man. He just... I'm gonna, like, just he, and yeah. he, you can tell he doesn't have little man syndrome, even though he's so small. Well, he, how can you, you have little know. man syndrome when you're the best footballer in the world? Look, it's true. That's true. He must be packing an absolute beast of a schlong. <laughs> I, you, the confidence this guy has out on the pitch, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also, like, he's he is one of few footballers that he doesn't really like. You know how people like fake tackles? Like, he, I feel like he doesn't do that ever. Like fall over and stuff. Yeah. Oh and yeah. When, no, and no, like no. when he he gets like attacked out. Well, that's there. the only way you can stop him is failing. Yeah. Because he's so good. It's crazy, eh? It's mental. He's such. But man, you on the other hand, Jake, Messi and Argentina had a really good time. They had a great time. You on the other hand didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to air out my dirty laundry. <laughs> Cats out of the bag. Okay. So, if anyone's heard of Better, the betting app. It did this promotion when it first came out a couple months ago and you could do, I think, um, it was 100 to 1 odds or something mm. and on any team in the World Cup. So, and you had a mat, you could do $10. So, that means you could win a thousand bucks basically and I put $5 on France and $5 on England to win the World Cup. So, I basically, if either of them won, I got 500 bucks. I chose France. I did $5 on France, $5 on England. England was out and so then... Like two days before the World Cup, I thought, oh, I could kind of get myself to win money no matter what in this situation. So, I only put $5 on France and then I went into a different betting app and I put $250 on Argentina. Yeah. And then I was like, one of these teams has to win because there was... And, and Argentina was paying like $2.80. So, basically, I was either going to win 500 bucks or I was going to win like 300 and 60 or something and so i just thought fuck it yeah. no matter what i win i'm a happy guy <laughs> and um <laughs> so i wake up monday actually and here i was i'll talk about this is already a nice conversation as i'm doing the bet i'm like as i'm betting on argentina i'm like oh what the hell why can you bet on a draw it's the world cup final they're not going to draw there's no way you can have a draw so i'm just going to choose argentina to win and he's like yeah we did both agree yeah i said yeah no you can't you, you can't have you, a draw you can't have a draw like, it's going to go to pen someone's going to win yeah exactly, exactly someone's going to win and so he's you're two hundred and fifty five dollars in. Yeah. Dave. So basically, I'm two hundred and fifty five in at this point, <laughs> and I'm guaranteed a three hundred and sixty or something. I don't know. Three hundred and sixty like or five hundred or five hundred, and I'm cheering. And um, <laughs> so we wake up on Monday, and Oddie was we were gonna watch we were gonna watch the whole like we woke up early and we were gonna watch the whole replay of the game because it was on at two a.m. our time, yeah. and then ended up we it was just going to be there was still the game was still live because they were doing all like the afterwards of the game of the celebrations yeah. and we were both like fuck it we'll just go to work so Oddie just goes oh check your app see which one won or whatever and so i went on and we i think we knew we looked up who won we knew argentina won by pens at that point yeah. and then he goes oh and i was like fuck it let's go i'm gonna go cash out my money on my app <laughs> and i go in 
And I'm like, oh, it hasn't paid out yet. Yeah, Still, I, there was no money. Then I was like, oh, it hasn't paid out yet. It hasn't paid out yet. And um, so then I go over and I go to like pending ones, like pending bets. And then it goes over and it says Argentina versus France to Argentina to win. And then it says no win, loss. And I was like, what? Argentina won? Yeah. Why did I lose? And then it clicked and I was like, oh my God. The reason you could put a bet on them drawing was because if they draw the game and then it goes to pens, that's counted as a draw, yeah. obviously, which but they not did obvious. not put in the fine print. That is not obvious though. Like you think they can't have a draw. Like you just... You just, yeah, I just... I like, are we dumb? Because we don't bet. No, Oddie and I never, no. ever bet. It's like the only time I think we've ever bet is on Melbourne Cup and we both struggled, bro. Yeah. I needed... I had to get someone to do it for me because I didn't know how to do it. And I always message my uncle for who to bet on and shit. But... So I lost all my money. So this, this, <laughs> I think this like confirms the fact that we shouldn't bet. No, game. I don't think we and should. That's, <laughs> what, what was what was draw paying if you did put on it? Uh, was like it a heap? Three dollars eighty. Yeah, so fuck. I would have, Damn it! Imagine if I should have put a hundred on draws. Well. Oh. <laughs> but and then what we did was I was fucking around and because Messi won, I was still in a good mood. I didn't really care about losing the money, and um, <laughs> like I did, but I didn't. I was like, woo, Messi, Messi. And then um, I think I, I was joking around and going, should I just like put however much on a horse uh, on a random horse at a random race right now to try and win my 250 back and i goes yeah do it do it do it <laughs> and so then i was like oh seriously and he was like yeah do it it'll add to the story <laughs> i'm like you can't lose you can't lose <laughs> and then so i went and i put ten dollars on this horse paying like 260 it was called like the arabian goddess or yeah something. no it was called the prince of dubai yeah, so yeah. we were like it's written in the stars he's gonna win yeah and then i put ten dollars in his horse and lost it so i'm actually 270 down yeah or 260 yeah 265 or 275 or something i don't know but moral of the story is jake don't bet. Yeah, hey, betting is bad, guys. Okay, they they'll just, find out a way to keep your money. They just take your money. They don't give a fuck. Draw, win, loss, you lose. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, but yep, messy won. And um, how good? How good? All right. So a little while ago, I think we actually spoke about it on the podcast, and we called your friend Georgia. Mm. And so she did this really good thing where she was over 48 hours was walking as many steps as she could and you she did it to raise money. So the way she raised money with it was you can pledge a certain amount of money for every 10,000 steps. So if you pledged $3 per 10,000 steps and she uh, walked, what was it? Say she walked 100,000 steps. Oh shit, what is that? $10. Well, I was I have zoned out for a little bit there. Sorry, man. I'm going to make this easier mathematically in my head. <laughs> if you pledged $10 per 10,000 steps and she walked 100,000 steps, you'd pay 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Yeah. And the way that it worked though was she didn't have like a thing set up in her name or anything. She just it was like very last minute, but I, I don't know how much I pledged, but I remember I, I like pledged and then when she was done, she just sent you the link to go and donate the amount. Like she added it up for you and said, "Oh, this is how much you would be yeah. paying so i went to unicef donated it and then only a couple of days ago which was however many months later i just got this random phone call and um i was getting ready to go to the party we were going to on the weekend actually mm. and i got this phone call and i usually don't answer them i i'll only answer a random number because sometimes i think it's a um a scam caller and i like fucking with them yeah. i like to fuck around with them now and um but i answered it and it was unicef and they were calling me and she she thanked me very much for the donation mm. that I made. And uh, she asked me what it was for and I explained the thing that Georgia did. And she was like, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then I was just like kind of waiting to see where this phone call was going. And then she started to talk about um, the there's like in in pakistan or something like that there's been torrential rain and villages have gone completely submerged in water over like 30 million people are without clean water now and they're resorted to drinking dirty water with waterborne diseases and you know they're doing this and doing that and i'm like oh man that's you're feeling bad yeah i'm like bro that sucks like that's so bad and and i can't just hang up on that (laughs) You know, this is UNICEF. And she's just thanked me for me. She's made me feel good. Are they volunteers she's, or are they getting paid? She got paid. 
she let me know she's getting paid at the end mm. of it. And I was like, okay, mm, yeah, that's okay. Just, mm, change of things. Okay. Okay. And, um, but then, so what she's going on about this stuff and she's making me feel a little guilty, making me feel good about my situation. And then she, so she thanks me for my donation and then she says, oh, and if you would like to, if you just donate a dollar a day, which is $30 a month, that would be able to keep UNICEF going, put roofs over these guys' houses. And, and I was like, I just felt like being like, bitch, you just... You're asking me for more money? That's, that's more than Netflix. <laughs> that's, I, I got Netflix to pay for. I got phone bills to pay for monthly. I don't want another yeah. monthly payment. It's a bit of nerve. And you then just she's, yeah. like 100 bucks to them. Yeah, and then she starts, um, she starts going and she starts saying, oh, you can even go down as low as 50 cents a day. And I'm like, and she starts saying as low as 50 cents a day. And I'm like, I don't want to be that low. Yeah. What? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm what are you paying? <laughs> <laughs> don't make me sound poor yeah i mean i'm not gonna do it at all but and then but basically what i said was i was just like oh i'm, I'm really busy right now is there, am i able to just go you know do it on your website yeah. she's like oh yeah that's that's all right that's all right and then she kind of kept going on about it and i was like yeah yeah i'm, I'm just doing something right now but like can i is, yeah. can, is there a website i can go to to do it when i have the time and she's like, oh, yeah, and reads me out the website. And I was like, awesome, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she said, she's like, have a good day, this, that. And I was like, yeah, you too. Hung out the phone. I was like, never visiting that website. I don't know how I feel morally about getting guilt tripped into it. Yeah, I know. Because um, Jake told me this. Yeah. What happened with his unit. Oh, I said it and I was like, Oddie, you're going to get a phone call. And about <laughs> two days later, I was laying in bed. I think I was watching a movie. I'm going to get a phone call. And I don't normally pick them up either, but I'm getting, I've just bought a new car. So I'm getting heaps of random phone calls oh, about like yeah, 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 insurance, yeah, yeah. Um, shipping it, blah, 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 whatever. So I've been picking up my phone and I picked up my phone and I got the exact same spill. <laughs> oh, how did, I heard, saw you donate money, blah, blah. I told him, she said, that's amazing, Thank blah, 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 blah. And um, then she started going on about the Pakistan. Whereas you, I had time to think because Jake told me. Yeah. She went on this water spill and she started saying, oh, we think we need some more money. And like you said, I can't just hang up on her. That's exactly what I did. You hung up on her? <laughs> yeah, fuck that, man. <laughs> fuck that. That's so good. I don't. I know it's a very good cause, but their moral compass is off when I've already donated. I think I donated one hundred and fifty sixty dollars or something. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I don't. I donated like a hundred bucks, I think. And um, like I've done that. I've done my good deed, and then they're trying to make me feel bad about this. Pack. Like I'm sure like, it's good cause, blah 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 blah. But don't make me feel bad to donate money. I'm gonna do it because like. I want to, not because I feel bad for you. It's weird, eh? I'm trying to think. It's very, very weird. Especially like this, um, the whole pledge thing is 50 cents a day. It's on a contract and you'll forget about it. So, this is going to keep accumulating all this money. Like, it's like a gym contract. You just forget yeah, about it. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I'd be donating heaps per year. Yeah, because you just can't be bothered to cancel it. No. Which is also like, morally, I wouldn't say correct. You should just have a su- lump sum. They're I guess it's like how, money. yeah. I wonder how else they get money though. I'm trying to think like, are they, they she talks about, I don't know. She's talking about all these good things UNICEF's doing. And I'm like, yeah, you guys are great you know i'm not doing that obviously but i've given you money yeah also she's exact same spill she's got it written down so the exact same thing to me like i'm just yeah, a, oh it's all written down it's yeah. just a robot and she's she so did let us bad. know she, she's not a volunteer yeah well like, that, she that gets paid yeah no no yeah I'm, I'm and then after that i was like no i don't actually i should feel bad but no i don't <laughs> I did my part. Like, stop trying to make me feel bad. It's like I know where I'm. Like, I know where my like morals lie, and I've did the right thing. It's like how you know every now and then. Have you ever gone through Macca's drive-through and there's oh, a yeah. firefighter standing there with a bucket? Yeah. And you drive through, and if you go through drive-through, and it's like you cannot not donate. You yeah. know, it's like you, you're scrounging for whatever you've got in coins in your car to put in that bucket, and it's just like, why are you standing there? Mm. Fucking what, hell! What about um? I saw the shits and gigs talked about it. But I got a little um, thing on top of it. They got pay wave donations now. What? Like so you have? Either, oh yeah, yeah. They either, said that. Either the little Apple thing or That's like right. or a full ATM machine. Tell you what would have been a better allocation of money. Instead of spending a couple hundred bucks on this ATM machine, donate that yourself. Donate that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and you know you have to pay monthly for those. You got to pay monthly. You have to have access to the internet. Yeah. And um, where's this internet? Like you paying thirty dollars yeah. a month? You got to pay fees. You've got to pay monthly for the because they're connected to the internet and yeah. they have like a phone bill type sitch. So you have to pay monthly for that thing. And then yeah, and then those machines they cost a bit. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, I know you're scamming all these people with money because they now the excuse is I don't have any change. Yeah. But they've they've spent a couple hundred bucks monthly. Oh, sorry, I don't have any, sorry, I don't have any change. That's all good. I can use your card if you want. Yeah, yeah. And then they made it also made a really good point. Like, yeah, but I don't know where that money's going. Yeah. It's like I know you have a bank account. 
Yeah. But is this just going straight into your bank account and then yeah. I have to trust that you're donating it? You know? Yeah, like this could just there? be a way to scam people and get them to think about if you just went out there 10 hours a day and maybe, I don't know, you might get one in a hundred people. And if you go in a busy area, eventually, you know, you might make a hundred, 200 bucks a day. Like, and yeah, and you don't actually, yeah, you don't know where the money's going. And there's that many, I reckon there's that many fronts for, that are fake. People are scamming us. There's hey. so many scammers. And like that guy, could, how do we know that was actually UNICEF? Could have been some chicken in a. In a Lounge room. That's 100% right. It's a random number. Yeah. And yeah, they, they could just be saying they're from UNICEF. Yeah. Good thing we didn't do it. Yeah. yeah fuck it. We, <laughs> <laughs> well, we could have just been supplying we like been a re- sex trafficking company's money for the fucking we did the right 30 thing. bucks a month. We did the right thing, Jake. I'm glad we figured that we out. Good episode so far, Odie. You say that every time. Good episode. <laughs> every episode's good. That's why. Well, look, I'm not going to change now, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what time it is. Time to hit us with some... Oh, shit. Facts. Okay, facts. Um, All right. This one is coming from me. Ooh. And um, I'm going to try to spit it out as best an, as an I can. OG. An OG. An original. One. Um, sort of has something to do with my hair. And it sort of has a couple um to do with a couple of things going on in my life. So, um... Life is too short to not do what you want. And I really think at this time of the year, you look back on your year and you think, fuck, I haven't been doing enough. I, um, like, what, what have I done this year? I did nothing. Like, I haven't had a girlfriend. I haven't done, I haven't made, I don't have any money in my bank account. I've just got drunk. And it's like, don't let anybody else's like perception of you, like stop what you want to do. Like I wanted to dye my hair, but I was thinking people are going to think I look shit. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to look good. And I was like, no, nah, fuck it. A little inkling in my heart thinks oh i'm gonna look good i thought it'd be fun i'm gonna do it i don't care if i look shit and i'm doing it for me and i don't want to look back on my life and think i didn't do that minuscule thing like dyeing your hair but otherwise go talk to that girl go tell her you like her go ask her on a date or even go don't do little things like hang out with your parents on christmas and make the most of the thing the people you like you love and really hang out with them fuck yeah yeah i like that yeah let's go i've been thinking about it and you think back on this time of the year and it's kind of like a it can be sad because you don't have that much going on. Yeah. So like make the most of these. You got a couple of weeks less of the year. I'm well, not even that long. Two mm. weeks. And just do what you want to do. Don't yeah. let any other, any other perception of you change that. Because I guarantee when you're dying or whatever, you're not going to think, man, um, I wish I didn't dye my hair. Yeah. Or like, oh, man, I wish I didn't say um, ask that girl on a date. You're going to be thinking, I wish I asked that chick on a date. I wish I dyed my hair. I wish I went skydiving. Think I wish about I how much, yeah, all these decisions you could make in the in the moment. Your life would be so much Just different. Just do it because uh, it, I'm starting to see the shift in, we've said it on the potty all the time, like 20s and 30s is figuring out your life, 40s is setting yourself up and 50s and 60s are chilling and doing what you want because that's all you, you don't care about anything else except for your life. And right now, if you get it earlier, do what you want to do for you. Yeah, fuck yeah. I like that. It tapes good. Yeah. It's like I was thinking the other day, literally, I think I told you, like at this age, the only problem I have is that I just don't have enough money to do all the things I want to do. Mm. And I was thinking that's, it's only, I guess it's really good to only have one problem. Like money. I literally only have one problem. Exactly. And I'm glad that we both have the same, like which isn't, money's going to work itself out. Exactly. You know, and every time I think like, man, I need to be making more money. I need to be doing this. Like why don't I have money yet? I'm thinking I'm only 22, nearly 23 got plenty of time i just need to like i need to keep trying to reassure myself or else, I, or else i'll overthink i overthink a lot about it and yeah with that money thing i guarantee you, you like when you're whatever whenever you're gonna die mm. you're not gonna be thinking you're not gonna take money to the ground yeah you're like man i wish i saved an extra hundred bucks that week yeah you're gonna be thinking man i wish i spent an extra week with my dad Fuck an extra yeah. week with my kid yeah i wish i spent christmas having a conversation rather than on my phone shit like that's gonna mm. stick with you but a um, bit deep at the end, Jake. Uh, yeah, but we're, we're going to get deep a little bit every now and then. Yeah, no, we, we said we don't get to do it all the time, but I thought we'd bring it back. We haven't done it for a while. It's a, it's a season to be jolly, so make the most of it. Hang out with your loved ones. And it's a big Merry Christmas from Jake and I at the Relatables yep. Studios. We will see you next time, eh? See you next time. Like and subscribe, bitches. Woo!